okay now let's look at question number 13 part c so we have n which is a positive integer and we want to find the smallest value of n such that the real part of this given complex number is half so let's write down our number complex number cos 2 pi over 15 plus i sin 2 pi over 15 all thing to the n power then in the denominator cos pi over 15 plus i sine pi over 15 whole thing to the seventh power so now using the de Morvis theorem we can write this numerator complex number as cos 2 pi n over 15 plus i sine 2 pi times n over 15. So here for both numerator and the denominator apply the Morvis theorem. So this is 7th power so we have to multiply the argument by 7 so 7 pi over 15 7 pi over 15 because the radius sorry the modulus is 1 for both of them 1 to the n is 1 1 to the 7 is also 1 so now cos 7 pi over 15 plus i 7 sine 7 pi over 15. So now we have a complex number divided by a complex number. Then we can write this complex number as this way. So in this form, we subtract the arguments from the numerator argument minus denominator argument. So you get cos 2 pi n over 15 minus 7 pi plus i sin 2 pi over n minus 7 pi over 15 so let's simplify this a little bit more cos 2n minus 7 over 15 times pi plus i sine same angle or argument 2 pi minus 7 over 15 2n minus 7 or 15 times pi. So this is what this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. So we have been told we want to find n such that real part is half. So then we can write this cos. 2n minus 7 over 15 times pi is equal to half real part is equal to half so then when is cos half it is when cos is pi over 3 so we can write the general solution to this equation so 2n minus 7 over 15 times pi is equal to 2m pi plus or minus pi over 3 where 
सिंपल एम इज इंटीजर सो नाउ लेट सिंप्लीफाई दिस टू एन माइनस सेवन we can cancel what we can cancel pi pi can be cancelled now multiply everything by 15 so 30m plus or minus 5 then 2n is equal to 30m plus or minus 5 plus 7 everything divide by 2n is equal to 15m plus or minus 5 over 2 plus 7 over 2. So there's two cases for n. n is 15m plus case is plus 6. Minus case becomes n 15m plus 1. And where m is a integer for both cases and we want the smallest n we want the smallest n where n is a positive number so putting m equals minus integers doesn't matter it will give you a minus number so that will be wrong for both cases so we'll start with m equals zero for both cases so plug in m equals 0 from first case we get n equals 6 from here we get n equals 1 so then we have the answer smallest possible n should be 1 then we want n to be a positive integer so the smallest positive integer is 1 so n equals 1 is our answer so that is part c of question number 13